Um, I'm Grace, I'm a second year LLB student. The reason why we set up the Singapore Student Society was the fact that we realised that we needed a base of students to uh, form a community such that um, they knew where to get advice from um, and especially in London they are so distracted. So by um, first year after exploring the bright lights of London, they will realise that they are actually kind of jaded and they need some place to call home. But um, if there's no Singapore society, there's no one, there's nowhere to turn to. Um, another thing that I realised was the fact that um, in the past there were only very few students in SOAS, so there wasn't enough base to form our society. But now the population ex of Singaporeans in SOAS has exploded to over 60, so that's why we thought that it was a, 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 the great, a great opportunity to start um, bringing students in into our one society itself. This year we decided to make it very informal, so we have informal events at an ex-school member's place called Singapore Speaking where we discuss um, current affair issues in Singapore um, and we also have partnerships with um, UKSSC which uh, is a, uh, 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 a UK-wide uh, student initiative and we partner them for Greater London events for weekend um, with other London universities. Um, another one we, we would like to we partner with is like Contact Singapore for our major events like um, Singapore Day that is happening next spring. I can say for, with certainty that SOAS has definitely lived up to my expectations. Um, I think uh, having made the decision to uh, follow a career in uh, transactional corporate type of work um, in terms of a legal career. Uh, I think having that multi-jurisdictional international perspective has definitely added value to uh, what I have to offer uh, in terms of my career in the future. Um, I think that it's only at SOAS where you can get this um, type of learning, this uh, international comparative type of learning which uh, is so uh, crucial and important when it comes to appreciating the sensitivities of, of law and how the uh, different legal systems interact. Um, and I think I would definitely recommend uh, law students or future law students um, to come to SOAS to get this uh, really unique experience. Well, I chose to study history at SOAS for a good number of reasons, but the most important of which I think uh, is the diversity and, and the sorts of choices that was available to me. In, in no other school I could find um, was the option available for me to study the Middle East, the Crusades, uh, African history, the Atlantic slave trade, uh, modern Japanese history, Chinese history, Korean history, Southeast Asian history. That, and South, Indian, uh, South Asian history, which is India. And, and being able to choose these things, uh, besides the typical European Tudor Victorian history, was really appealing to me because that allowed me to study things that I was interested in. And to, to study things that are a lot more relevant to be at home because I want to study things that uh, I can use as well, right? And studying maybe 14th century Europe isn't probably the most useful thing in an Asian context. It might help us understand Europe's history and perspective better, but to really look at Asia and Africa and the Middle East and to relook at it and understand it from their perspective is, I think, even more valuable given the, the volatile circumstances and climates of these days. I studied East Asian history in SOAS uh, for three years and I graduated last year. Mm, I could sum up my experience in two words. It was intimate and it was um, intellectual. Intimate because um, I always felt welcome in SOAS and I felt out of place. Uh, the teaching stuff, the students, the edge on stuff, uh, yeah, they, never, they made me feel like I was at home basically. And it was intellectual because uh, the, well, the range of expertise you can get at SOAS is quite remarkable. So I think quite unlike anywhere else, I've spent um, many happy hours just um, rummaging through the library looking for different kinds of sources I could use for my research. Yeah, I could say um, well, the best three years of my life so far were probably spent in SOAS actually.